on the 1st of July 1940, Jersey was occupied by the Germans. And uh, the Germans then went about placing lots of uh, gun emplacements and all sorts of defensive measures around Jersey just in case the uh, British decided to uh, try and take Jersey back. So this island was ringed with uh, all sorts of uh, guns and all sorts of um, defensive measures in case of a, a British attack, which actually never came. Um, amongst those defences were three of these things. There were supposed to be nine apparently, but only three of them were completed. A lot of slave labour was brought in from, um, apparently in the case of these things, um, they were built by uh, French and Spanish but there were other nationalities as well. You can't see it, on the left hand side you see three slits. Uh, when we were coming in, the ferry was coming in from right over to the left and there were actually five of those slits. We can only see three of them from here. And of course there would have been um, per German personnel there looking out. The very top was an anti-aircraft gun. And there's other things around us. This. Uh, this thing here is some sort of range finder and under it is a, is a control room. Um, that's the car, we've rented a car for the day and under that uh, is the actual command bunker. And there's Darling. Uh, interestingly enough, that there is a, uh, the base of a Martello Tower and uh, they were built um, during the Napoleonic Wars. So on, on the one hand you've got the Napoleonic stuff from, in this case I think it's 1814, and then this other stuff came 130, well, 128 years later, something like that. And as you can see, it's all within yards of each other. And there's more stuff over there to the right of the German period and behind. And of course, it, it was on the on the coast, coastal stuff that was uh, important, well vital, just in case the uh, British decided to uh, try and retake Jersey. Of course, they never did. Um, and, and Jersey was finally liberated on the 9th of May, 1945. Okie doke, bye.